In this video, we'll letter make guidelines and a title block, starting with the guidelines. These are used to regulate letter height. I'm going to make one-fourth high letters separated by eighth inch spaces. So I'm marking off quarter inch and eighth inch increments. Next, I'm going to pull my T-square through those increments. The result will be a bunch of quarter inch parallel lines separated by eighth inch spaces. Guidelines should be done light with a 4H lead. Now I'll letter in the quarter inch tall spaces using a darker lead, such as an HB. I'm also going to use a straight edge to draw the vertical strokes. This helps the letters look more professional. I'm using a basic block font where I'm slanting the verticals. Note that the letters are running the full height of the guidelines. You want to try to keep spacing consistent. Note that I didn't serif the I or J, meaning put a crossbar on them. You don't want any gaps between the pencil strokes. Numbers should match the letters in font style. And when you draw fractions, the numerator and denominator each need to be the full height of the guidelines. Now let's do a title block. There are different styles. I'm just going to make a one eighth or a one inch line from the bottom of the paper. The title block should always go on the short end of the paper and it's drawn with a dark lead find its center by connecting the corners. That way you can draw lines at the center if you want. Next, put in some eighth inch tall guidelines a set at the top and a set at the bottom and we'll do them the same way by marking off an eighth inch increment. Then use the T-square to draw guidelines through those marks and again make the guidelines light. then letter inside the eighth inch increments. This is the typical information that would go on a class worksheet. And there you have it.